This is Apple Music, Apple's new streaming service that allows you to subscribe for music, listen to the radio, and connect with your favorite artists all in one place. It was just released in the iOS 8.4 update, and it gives you a whole new music app that includes all these new features. When you first open up the app, you're greeted with a new Apple Music screen, which tells you a bit about what it is and asks you if you want to try it out. There's a three month free trial that comes with Apple Music, and after that, it costs $9.99 a month for an individual plan, or $14.99 for a family plan for up to six people. Once you have chosen the plan you want, you are then taken into the app. The first screen you see is the My Music tab, and this contains all the music you already have downloaded on the device and everything else added from this point forward. The next tab is the For You tab, and it contains music based on your interests. When you click on it for the first time, you get a series of bubbles with different genres of music, asking you to select from your favorites. Then you can select specific artists in those genres that are your favorite. After that, you will now get selections based on what you have chosen, and these are all tailored for you and are always there in the For You tab. Right next to that is the New tab. Here you can see all the latest music that is available like you would normally, and you have a series of playlists that are curated based on certain subjects like what time of day it is, what kind of music you'd like to listen to, and different people and different companies that have created their own playlists. Next to that tab, you have the Radio tab. This is the same thing as iTunes Radio, although now it's called Apple Music Radio, but now there's the addition of Beats 1, Apple's own radio station that plays live music 24-7, and it works in sounds just like a normal radio station. Finally is the Connect tab, and this is where you can see the latest information on your favorite artists. This is kind of a social network that allows artists to post pictures, videos, and messages all for their fans to see. The app works the way you would expect for the most part. When you want to listen to a song, just tap it and it starts playing. And if you want to add that to a playlist, you can do that and it'll go into your My Music section. And you can do a number of different things like buy it in the iTunes store if you'd like to own it. Overall, the app works pretty well and does what you would expect it to, just like the music app did before. So that is Apple Music. So far, it seems to be a solid streaming service, especially if you're already in Apple's ecosystem. I hope you enjoyed this hands-on. If you did, be sure to subscribe and visit MacRumors.com for more. My name is Matt with MacRumors, and we'll see you in the next one.